uh, we have a uh, little Seesaw on the line um, from the pen for part two of this interview. Seesaw, I know after the first interview, some stuff came to light that you wanted to address, so so feel free to say whatever's on your mind. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I'd like to uh, address to everyone out there, man, that done looked out for me and then sent me money. Uh, it's an imposter out there acting like that they me, and uh, that's not me. But I know it's the thought that count, and I just appreciate all my people that reached out to me. But, yeah, I don't have no Instagram. I don't have no Facebook. I don't have no none of that shit. I'm not on social media, Twitter, no nothing. I don't fuck around. I'm in prison, and I'm just doing my time. So, yeah, I was fortunate enough to do this interview over this prison phone, and I just wanted to address that whoever was taking advantage of me and of my people and my loved ones, man, they need to knock that shit out. But other than that, yeah, don't send no motherfucking money to no fraudulent ass cash apps or no none of that shit. I got people that's out there with my information that got my legitimate information for all the folks that want to reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, though, yeah, it's all good. I got time today. I ain't on nobody's phone time, so, yeah, we can uh, get started to where we left off at. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, look, see, I just read, I don't, I don't go ahead and help John. Me and John going to tag team you so we can knock it out right quick. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got yep. you. Okay, cool. So, uh, on the, the previous, uh, after the previous interview, uh, we had touched on some few things. Uh, we just want to ask about your relationships with different people. If you're going to explain your relationships right, right. with, uh, different right. people that we know, you know, from the dog pound air, air and, the LBC crew, if you can just tap in and yeah. give us a roll call. Yeah. Right, right. Well, rest in peace to my nigga Badass for sure. Oh, yeah, good one. Yeah. You got any nice stories about Badass? Huh? You got any Man, nice got stories about story. Badass? One of the reasons why Badass was the fucking rap with us in the beginning to go find the motherfucking ass. We was at VIP one day. Uh, no, uh, I want to say my homie Ty, Big Stell, we was all in the Suburban, sitting in the parking lot at the VIP on PCH and King, and uh, Badass was on the bus stop going towards, going what? I want to say that's uh, westbound. No, he was going eastbound on PCH, going towards like Orizaba. So I used to always see Badass, but I didn't know he rapped. So one day I'm in the car with Dog, we're leaving out the VIP, we get in the car, we sit down about to pull out, and Badass turn and look and went fucking crazy ran up to the court told dog my name badass i rap i'm pushing low lives this and that so dog like all right all right well, let me hear something badass but he left an impression on dog to the point where when we started the lvc crew dog was wondering where's the dude that can anybody find that guy that was came up to the car when we were sitting in the car and just started rapping badass. I'm like, man, I be around them every day because they lived around Big Big with around Big Style. They lived over there when he was over there off of uh, Orizaba. So I found badass and let him know, hey man, next time we go to Snoop House, he wanna holler at you, man. And from there, you know, Big Style started uh, doing the music with badass and the low lights and shit. It took off from there. That was my boy, man. I was a badass all day when it's pictures. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, how about uh, Big Big C Style? Give us a good story about Big C Style. Big Style, man, man, but come on, man, it, it, it don't stop. Man. I can give you all kind of big stories about Big Style. Yeah. I'm gonna give you one right now. He didn't want to tell me about the imposter. <laughs> yeah, the motherfucker that he didn't want to tell me when I tapped into him and I hollered at him. He said, "Little Style, man, we did that interview. Man, the motherfucker been out here, man, calling everybody we know." For money and shit. I'm like, yeah, man, thank you, man. I said, I need to hurry up and get back on the phone with Rick. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. I need to hurry up and get back on the phone with Reg. Then while I'm out here on this yard and let Reg know right now, well, I ain't got to wait on no phone line and shit. Yeah, man, that is not me. Yeah, though. Whoever yeah. they send money to, that's pasta. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, got, y'all. Got, our, our story's going so deep, it's ridiculous. I have to write a book uh, saying all the good shit about Big Stell. Yeah, big style, a real one with everybody. I know he still got great relationships with everybody. Um, I just want to know: Have a uh, big Snoop style ever reached out to you since you've been down or anything? You have any contacts or anybody? No, Go ahead. No, I, I ain't talked to Snoop in ten years. I talked to Snoop okay. when I first got to Calipat, and ever since then I ain't hollered at him. But I know I be seeing him doing his shit, so I ain't got no ill will with none of them dudes. 
Oh, no. No, you can't do that. My main, yeah. thing, my main focus is coming home, man. Getting with my <laughs> kids and shit. I got grandkids now, Rich. I heard that. I heard that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I still got that music shit up in me and up in me tough. A lot of dudes that's in here, I be walking the yard with sometimes and seeing from different cars be telling me, man, now you got this side and you already knew that side, you got to oh, put yeah. both of these worlds together, man. Prison and street and you a solid motherfucking stand up dude, go out there, man, and kill him with that music. I'm like, yeah, you know, that shit be sounding good, but I'm trying to catch up with my kids and shit, man, and my family. Cool, cool, cool. John, go ahead. You got anything? Um, yeah, do, can you Say give what? us, yeah, can you give no, us, no, John, about to ask you a question. Yeah. Um, do you have okay. any stories or memories from when you, um, when you recorded the Easy Be a Soldier song with, with Swoop G and them? The who? The Easy to Be a Soldier, When There Ain't No War, that song. Wow, Reds, that was a uh, Reds right there. Well, uh, 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 young Swoop had the fuck up our Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my nigga Young Swoop, man, was mad because I was uh, hollering. Young Swoop had failed to realize that, nigga, Reggie is, I've been knowing Reggie forever. We homies, but if I don't need to do it, Reggie, you're not my manager, you crazy motherfucker. Yeah, me and Young Swoop over there fighting on Artesia because I did that verse. And uh, I, I believe Young Swoop did tell Reggie, like, hey, man, little style, I ain't talking to nobody. He's trying to hook up with y'all, man, and do something, man, on the chronic 2000. And, uh, yeah, we was at my homie John. Twin record shop when it was on Artesia, and we was getting dropped off, and I was giving the uh, Reds my number, and Young Swoop came around and fired on me. And we squabbled, fought, and later on that night, I seen him on the east side on 19th and Lime and shit, and uh, we hugged like homies do, and left that shit alone. But yeah, uh, that was a uh, <laughs> that was a nice song. I got that shit in my MP3 player right now. Well, I talk to the realest sometimes too, man. The realest is doing good, man. I be talking to the realest. Shout out to my nigga, the realest. Exactly, exactly. Hey, you know, uh, you probably don't know the dude that did the the beat for y'all, Kurt Cobain, just uh, passed away about uh, two or three weeks ago. Yeah, so shout out Kurt exactly, Cobain. Man. God yeah. damn. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, shout out to Kurt Cobain, man, and to his folks, man. I see mine. Now, you know what's crazy, man? Since I've been locked up, man, I know, like, man, literally, you know, I know a lot of people, right? I know, like, 70 motherfuckers, man, no exaggeration, that's dead. From older mm-hmm. folks to young people to just people, man. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Exactly. We, we man, just affiliated with Death Row, Jewel, Papa G. Yeah, uh, fucked me up when I heard about Jewel, man. Yeah. Fucked me up. I'm like, God damn. Yeah. yeah. I never seen that coming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, John, you got man, another it's cold question? As a, it's the cold as a motherfucker out here on the yard right now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get a couple of more. Okay. And then we'll wrap it up. Go ahead, John. What was it that, yeah, yeah. that that made you um, part ways with Death Row after Chronic 2000? Say that again. What was it that made you and uh, Death Row part ways after like Chronic 2000 uh, era? Man, I'm not gonna really say part ways. She is basically. I mean, you know, she. Uh, to be honest, man, I never was really focused on rap music, man. I think I could have had a longer career if I really stayed focused on rap music, man. I'm like, I got, I just found out. Being in prison that I got ADHD, man. I got attention uh, attention span deficit, man. God damn, I can I can only do certain things for a certain amount of time, man, and then I'm on to the next, man. I'm a motherfucking uh, hyper motherfucker, even at the age I am now. I just got a lot of energy, man. So I, if I would have put all that energy into the music, I probably could have been more successful with this music shit if I took it serious and stayed on it. But I just wasn't focused on music at the time, man. You know, even though I was signing Death Road, like Red to tell you, I wasn't even coming to the studio. You got people that dream of going to the studio and recording and all that shit. I never was that type of person. That shit just landed on me, man, and I took advantage of it for the time, and then I lost kind of, like, interest in that shit. But that kind of preserved me, though. I was like... This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, uh... So what was your your favorite song um, on your album? I, I heard you did an album in like 2010, 2012 that came out. Could, could you name some of the songs that was on No Projects? No, you that that about got the, a lot of buzz uh, for you? No, you talking about, you talking about my uh, album I did independent with Dan, or are you talking about the intro to the Indo album? Because, you know, 2012 was the intro to the Indo with all of us, the LBC crew. The album yeah. that was supposed to come out okay. in 96. You talking about that? 
Yeah, if you can just speak on that and, and the other and the second album, a lot of people in the comments was asking about those and naming different uh, songs that they liked. Oh, right, right, right. What songs were they saying they like? Okay, go I know ahead. They like the Black Ball song. Everybody tell me they like the song Black Ball. That was one. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I just, you know, I was trying to take it. At that time, I was really trying to take it serious. And then, you know, being that I ain't never really put my own album together and was trying to build me a company and push my record label, Rockhead Records, made that to my homie, rest in peace from 1 9. It was like, you know, it wasn't, I, I don't think I had the right connections and business people around me to make it go further than what it could have went. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. See, okay. Man, tell Shug, you know, keep his head up and all that good shit. And yeah, man, hopefully yeah, I'll be any, any of the people you are out there from Long Beach that you're on the yard with? Hell yeah, gang of motherfuckers up here, man. A lot of my homies is up here, man. Okay, a cool. Gang of motherfuckers. We up here thick, about 20 yep. of us up in this motherfucker. You, thick, you, you want to shout? You can go ahead and shout out any of your boys uh, that that that's on the streets to be looking out for you. Have Sixty seconds it. remaining. And we're we're in oh, the no, man. I just want to. Uh, no, okay. I'm too black, too strong, man. I just want to shout out all the brothers on the yard. Period, man. So exactly. Good, man. Yeah. Free all so my we, niggas on lockdown. Fuck well, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know what exactly. Man? Trust me. Yeah. I I had to do a little stink, so I know what you're saying, brother. You know what you're saying. Yeah, on the real, red. Exactly. Yeah, so, I'm gonna let you know, Rich. Always man, appreciate you, Lil Sal. And yeah, do not, do not send no money to the fake Lil C style. Yeah, the real Lil C style is right here. <laughs> In a minute, Rich. Appreciate you, brother. Yep. All right, go. Thanks.